Have you taken away the floor and ceiling <laughs> yet? <laughs> ah! God, I well, can't believe that. let me explain that, you see. What it is, uh, JD and myself, we're exploring being science DJs, or design science DJs. Yeah. And part of it is to explore a 3D diagram from Gibson Burrell, uh, which has different <coughs> axes in different directions, including sedimentism and rupturism on the floor and ceiling. And um, this has to do with sedimentism, which is sticking with the FM signal, being very concerned about radio programmes as we've always known it, which is more or less Chris's point of view. And then there's rupturism, which is only being bothered with the, the good bits that you put onto uh, social media, which is where I think we should be heading. But you'll be glad to know, Chris, that we're managing to do both things at once. It's possible to have a perfectly good FM show. A floor and a ceiling. With a floor and a ceiling in the studio. That's good. And still have some good bits you can put on the cloud. That's good. It's still a good diagram as well. Because the other bit's about, is it analytical or is it sensibility? And is it natural or is it away from nature? Is it quantitative or qualitative? Mostly it's qualitative, but I think it could be quantitative if people put themselves on the diagram or somewhere in the studio at, um, at a particular time. This studio, ladies and gentlemen, listeners, if you can imagine, it's like a sort of square box, isn't it? Yes. It lends itself to a 3D uh, diagram. If you had some steps and you felt particularly rupturist, you could head towards the ceiling. <laughs> and if you felt sedimentary, you could um, I, lie on the floor. I haven't got 3D vision, so I don't understand what you mean when you say about... You haven't got 3D vision? I haven't got 3D vision. No. So 2D diagrams would be enough for you? Yeah, they would. Or just two directions? Yes, Will. Just anyway, when you're going on about anyway, 3D, but sorry, no, we should I, be interviewing can, our guests. Can I just we? can I just finish this for a second? Mm. I I haven't got 3D vision, so yeah, let's not complicate the subject anymore. Um, okay. Yes, we should be interviewing the guest. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, we've uh, we've we've faded out you two because um, we have played we have played them before, but we 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 had a, a phone call from an FM listener. So hello. Would you um? Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you're. I think you're. I think you're live now. Excellent. Hi. So, would you say who you are and what you think? Uh, I'm Stuart. I live around the corner, and I'm an FM listener. Absolutely, all the way. I think it's, <laughs> it really makes the city to have a local FM broadcasting um, radio station. Really, really gives you a sense of being a part of something. Okay, then, Stuart. My name is John, by the way. Hi, John. Hi. So, how are you listening then? Are you listening from a, um, a r radio, a normal mm. radio? Or? Yeah, yeah, normal radio in the kitchen. Um, so you don't listen from a, from a computer or an iPad? Or? At the moment I'm not, no. I, I, do, I can listen via the computer if I want to, if I'm, mm. if I'm working on my computer and it's on. Mm. But, you know, generally, in, in domestic appliances these days, it's, it's going to be an FM signal that I'm interested in picking up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so... I, uh, well, so John, are you convinced by this? So, it's do, so we do have list FM listeners. I, I, I'd have to say that I'm, I'm one of a number of people. So I, uh, there are a number of people I know who listen to Phonic on the FM wave band, on especially the... people who drive around the city. So there's a guy, Peter Vance. If you listen, Peter, hi. Uh, Peter Vance works at the scrap store over in Belmont Park. He's often driving around the city in his van, delivering stuff, picking stuff up, and he loves the fact that he can tune into a local radio station and know exactly what's going on and know the personalities of the presenters, you know? Okay, well, it looks like my argument is going out the window, isn't it? Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, the beauty, just... I'd, I'd say the beauty of being able to have um, an internet presence is that we can, you know, that the phonic can reach other audiences. That they're, So, for instance, Sketch, Sketch is Sunday Scribble. He has an audience in Hamburg, I think, and Berlin. He has people, you know, who call in regularly. Sure. And that's great. But what, you know, the, the, the beauty of phonic and where it came from is, I think, this celebration of the city, the vibraphonic. Yeah. You know? So, and I, and I think it's good to maintain that and to, to make it as accessible as possible. Otherwise, it's, you know, if you've got the computer on, then there's other stuff going on. Yeah. The radio's kind of pure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you have any idea how... how 
great distance the, the FM signal reaches. Cause yeah, it, this is my argument as well. What about if the FM signal doesn't reach from how far you, you know, you could be, you could be in the sticks, will it reach that far? Uh, no, I don't think it goes past Southern, does it? So, and heading north, where would it go? Yeah. We don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I've, I've, I think we've listened all the way to Budley. I think we've got, we picked it up in Budley previously. Right. Right. Budley. Um, that's about it. Yeah, so, so the, the web aspect is quite good. It's from not very good that, for a that car, point is it? View. No, it's no good for a car. No. Yeah. No. And I think also that the, the, a lot of presenters have found ways of, of doing not exactly a listen again, but there's extracts from the shows that are available on, on various social media. So it, it has got a web existence. But I, I think that's secondary at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, I'd, I'd say I do the majority of my listening to Phonic straight as it comes out the pipe. <laughs> so that is ju- that's classic radio is, is still existing. Yeah, very much so. OK, all right. No, so, is there, a, is, is there a, a tune we could play for you later on? Oh, um, it'll take some, us a while to find it. But some Radiohead would be nice. Radiohead. Radiohead. Yeah, pretty much. You can choose. Okay, okay. we'll find we'll find one of them. Okay. So, th- thanks very much for phoning in. All right then. And, Cheers, uh, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. And um, this this. No- oh, hang on. Would you hang that up? Mm. Oh, dear. I did that. We we we're still. Working out how to Here use I the did. telephone. That was good. <laughs> Actually, guys, I, it looks like my argument is up in the... You know, it's gone out the window. It's gone out the I'm window. Z- but thank you for your call. What was his name? Stuart. Uh, Stuart. Thank you for your call, Stuart. It's good talking to you. Um, now, it looks like my argument's gone out the window. <laughs> but I, but I, we can do both things. I still... We can do both things. We can have FM <sighs> carrying on and work out a web online thing as well. I guess it balances out the argument why FM signal is still around. I guess. I, I, yeah. I think. All right. He's made my argument. He's he's blown you out. He's really. Blown but me out. you've still got a good argument. He's won it. He's we won. can do. But this is the thing. This is the thing. I admit defeat, Will. Well, I admit defeat, but Will. look, this is what I was trying to explain to Chris because Chris gets worried. Well, I t- well, I'm not going to talk about 3D diagrams. I'm going to talk about 2D diagrams. If we've got rupturism and sedimentism where sedimentism is just leave the FM signal as it is. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that, but we're not being too rupturist either. We're sort of somewhere in the middle. We float about. I guess. And we can keep it all going. Yeah, I mean... That's all right. As he said, which... which I'm Maybe when I go on about this FM signal, I'm always thinking of worldwide audiences all the time. Right. uh, Being listened to in other countries. I mean, that's that's what I... That would really, be... That's why... That's what I really love, love about online radio. It can be you can be heard anywhere. Yeah. And once you, in my, with me, once you once you're being heard in other countries. Yeah. You've you've done you've you've. That's good. That's 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 what it's about. I wish to, uh, make, you know, be be able to do is be heard in other countries. I mean, that's what I really want to do. Right. Is be heard in other countries. Okay. I guess. I guess but the it, FM signal is not going to be um, suitable for that. So that that that, no, that is but it gives still, us a base. Yeah, it gives, gives us a base in the city. It gives you a base in the city, but it, it's I, all right. I wouldn't. So I wouldn't anyway, say anymore. It's it's correct for be to be trying to abolish the FM signal. No, we're not going to abolish the FM signal. It no, is by probably, the way, Phonic FM one hundred six point eight, and uh, this is Aretha Franklin. Piece. We will we will be playing them again later on, but um, we've 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 had another another phone call. The phone to Addis and I want FM to carry on forever. Yes, so uh, don't get too upset. I think John is gradually being persuaded about. Oh, this. that's good because he did sound rather horrible wanting FM to be turned off. He was a bit firm about it wasn't well, he I, uh, I don't John are you becoming convinced there are people listening I, I look alright then I'm slowly becoming convinced but I will stick to my argument in a roundabout way because I I, I, I believe if you I'm not I, I want to I, I really would want a bigger 
it's great if if people want to listen. Um, not in you know when they're not in this country. So, but but I should is good call her. Them. Call her. I believe you are in Exeter. I am. I'm in Exeter. Where where are you in Exeter now, then, caller? I'm in <laughs> the Rougemont. The really? The Rougemont. <laughs> what, in the hotel? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, See I'm... your broadcasting from the hotel. <laughs> you? <laughs> well, that's fantastic. The Rougemont, I think I know where the Rougemont is. It's quite near Cafe 55, isn't it? That's how I find... I don't know. Oh, oh well... <laughs> But so our FM signal is getting everywhere. It's in the extra, yes, it's in the extra hotels. Yes. We're very glad to hear that. Yeah, and, it is. And <laughs> have you been listening to FM for a long time? Yes, twenty nine years. <laughs> twenty nine years. And yes. so you don't actually remember a time before <laughs> FM. Oh, Sorry, my... No, um, no, that was. Oh, God, you're right. Imagine. So, so I think I think you're you've made your point, caller. Oh, because I, my 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 colleague here is given up. Really, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, caller. He was he was trying to do away with FM, but I can't. I personally, I can't see any harm in in having an FM <gasps> signal as well as having it on um, yes. www.phonic.fm yes. <laughs> No I think it should be on both FM and on the internet yes. for all those people who can't work their radio God. Yeah, well some people can find one easy to work and other people can work oh. another one oh. Oh. This call, this historic call <laughs> We'll also be on, not listen again, but it'll be on, <laughs> on YouTube or SoundCloud <coughs> or, or somewhere. Right, okay. John, you... try and calm down. Oh. Now, can you give us a considered response oh, now? God, We've right. had two phone calls. Okay, okay, all right, Will. This is my considered response. Okay, now, I'm beginning to realise that FM is not going to be able to get... Be, be, not, uh, it's not going away. It's not going away, unfortunately. No, oh, right. God! Um... <laughs> But again, I, I, oh man, I don't know. It's because I'm too engrossed in technology. It's the way I'm used to. Right. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and spend money on on a on on a new radio radio that just sits in my room, and because I I can't think of anything worse. So basically, if I was going to listen to this, I would listen on the internet. But. Caller, right, caller, Mr. Look, all right, Mister Caller. Call, call it's quite clear that I'm not going to be able to get rid of the FM signal. So you've you've won you've won the argument. Um, goodbye. No, no, no. It's no need to say goodbye. <laughs> caller, I would like to thank I would thank you like to thank you for listening. And yes, we, we thank very much you. appreciate. Yeah, thank you very that people much. phone in through the telephone. <laughs> but by the way, we've just got a landline telephone here connected to our, our desk. Oh yeah. So, oh, so yes. I think I think I'd like yes. to say yes. how much I appreciate the landline telephone. Oh yes, as, oh, as well. It works. As well, oh, which works. does work. Oh it yes, definitely works. Yes. So call it. And I've got a rainbow. <laughs> so is there is there a, is there a tune we could play for you? Are you with Leon now, Chris, by the way? Shh, shh, d- d- sorry, Could just tell you me. play Witch Doctor by Frank Sinatra, please? I love that track. What, what, sorry, the name of the track again? Witch Doctor by Frank Sinatra. Witch Doctor. Okay, that's two we've got to try and find on YouTube. Okay. But, okay. Um, so bye thank bye. you very much for calling. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you and bye. have a great show. Bye. Bye. Well, we will find a Witch Doctor by Frank Sinatra later on. <laughs> but meanwhile, uh, we have oh, a we, a great we, we have a track we have a track from Lisa Stansfield. It's Lisa Stansfield, and uh, now we've got a track coming up for Gladys, our caller. Our caller. Um, would you like to introduce the track Will to Gladys? I'm sure Gladys is listening. She is listening. And um, this track's called Witchcraft. And uh, it is by Frank Sinatra. This is for you, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's witchcraft.
witchcraft Wicked witchcraft about this we've we've got a, a buffering problem uh, a classic <laughs> FM station wouldn't have this problem when they have a request they would have Frank Sinatra uh, on call somewhere but we've got uh, we've got this problem of a, a little sort of circle going round and round so if you hold on just just a moment we are very sorry about this our caller called in and um, wanted to hear Frank Sinatra and we found it on YouTube one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm looking for chat eight on on this um, on this CD, which is uh, Khalees. So for our caller, this this is from a CD now should be very reliable. So I'm sorry we can't play all of Frank Sinatra, but here is uh, Khalees with "Bless the Telephone." Sorry, um, Gladys. 